Chinese schools have begun enforcing smart uniforms embedded with computer chips to monitor student movements and prevent them from skipping classes. As students enter the school, the time and date is recorded along with a short video that parents can access via a mobile app. Here's a summary of the article. Chinese schools have begun enforcing smart uniforms embedded with computer chips to monitor student movements and prevent them from skipping classes. Facial recognition further ensures that each uniform is worn by its rightful owner to prevent students from cheating the system. A GPS system tracks student movements even beyond the school grounds. The company released a public statement via popular Chinese social media site, Weibo saying the uniforms focus on safety issues, and provide a smart management method that benefits students, teachers and parents. You go to any school and ask the security guard how many students there are in the school today. He definitely can't give you an answer, but we can, the post read. On its website, the development company said the uniforms were designed to fully implement the state policy of actively constructing smart campuses and smart education management for the development of education. Blogger Yi Ji Sirius defended the new uniforms, saying, The uniforms will come in handy when it comes to locating missing students. We choose not to check the accurate location of students after school, but when the student is missing and skipping classes, the uniforms help locate them, Mr. Lin said, adding the attendance rate had increased since the intelligent uniforms were introduced. This post received a score of 35,129, with an upvote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. That must be really terribly restrictive for those students. Sure, you can find missing children and prevent them from skipping classes, but what happens when parents, school staff are too controlling? Yet, they say that. The execution of this app depends a lot on trusting that parents and school staff won't micromanage their kid, and I have some doubts about that. It's like any type of data capture. People make this huge assumption that the problem is real-time usage. While it is a problem, it isn't even the biggest issue. The biggest issue is the database on you and how if you track enough stuff on anybody you could compile damaging dockets on literally anybody should they become a threat. I think the issue is feeling like you could never make an error. That the stress and impossibility of being absolutely perfect at all times is not really fucking living. Although reasonable efforts should be made to keep people safe and enforce the law, are you really in need of a terrorist level of surveillance for going a normal amount over the speed limit or jaywalking or, having one undeclared garage sale? Some of my favorite memories were skipping in grade 11 to go to the coffee shop. Yeah I'm not sure why some people here seem so fundamentally opposed to letting people live their lives as they want to so long as they aren't harming others, rather than arbitrarily deciding an ambiguous right way to do everything because they haven't lived their lives fully. Resentment is a weird unconscious trait. Charles Bukowski has a wonderful poem on this, The Genius of the Crowd. Because when you get used to it at school then it's smoothly implemented at work. Easiest way to take away freedom is to use children's safety. No one wants to be the person who doesn't care about the children. And then the children grow up thinking it's normal. That's why I hate those GPS tracker smartwatches they sell parents for their kids. If the child never has the feeling of being truly free and unsupervised I'm scared what other things they might find normal later. At the same time it just breeds more competent criminals. The children will alternate when has to wear multiple jackets. Or students will offer services to wear double clothes so others can skip. They will locate the chips and find ways to use them improperly. You could even knock a kid out and carry him, her around so security systems mistake you for the kid. Too much splinter cell? The alarm goes off if this happens. Mama said knock you out, but the People's Republic of China says, wake up, no sleep. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.